It's November 20th, 2015, and you know what that means. The eight-year anniversary of Mass Effect. Oh, and also, the consumer release of Samsung's Gear VR. So I got this package in earlier today. I pre-ordered it on Best Buy on November 10th, a couple of hours after it went live. And that was back when they were doing free release date delivery, which Amazon was also doing pre-orders at the time, but they didn't say anything about release date delivery, so I steer clear of them. It seems like that was the best choice because based on what I've seen on the Oculus and the Gear VR subreddits, a lot of people's packages still haven't shipped yet, whereas you could order from BestBuy.com even this morning to have the package shipped today. So that's a shame for all those people, and hopefully Amazon gets that resolved soon. The Gear VR is $99, $106.74 with tax for me, though that doesn't include the cost of the phone that you need to use it. So you can use four different Samsung phones or four phones period at the moment. The Note 5, the S6 Edge Plus, the S6 Edge, and the S6. I went with the Note 5. Uh, it has a slightly lower pixels per inch than the S6, but its screen is 0.6 inches bigger, it has one more gigabyte of RAM, and it has a better battery, which is why I decided to go with it. Inside the Gear VR box, you have the Gear VR unit, the top strap, the strap that goes around the back of your head, the health and safety, and warranty guide and the getting started guide. As far as the headset itself, you have the focus adjustment wheel, the strap loops, the USB connector for the phone to connect to the headset, the device holders, a charging port so you can actually charge your phone while you're using the headset. You also have the proximity sensor, the lenses of course, and the foam cushioning that surrounds the headset. And you have the securing slot for the top strap, the back key, the touchpad, and the volume key and the front cover that protects the lenses when your phone's not connected. The very first thing you want to do even before attaching the straps is connect your phone to the USB connector on the left device holder. This will prompt your phone to download all the necessary applications and updates which if you happen to be visiting someone who only has the free internet offered by their apartment complex may take a while. When your phone successfully connects you'll hear this message. Samsung Gear VR. To start the setup process, remove your mobile device and install the required applications on it. And be taken to the Gear VR welcome screen. From here, you'll go through the warning and end user license agreement text and begin the initial setup process, which installs the application scene here, which was a 115 megabyte update for me. Afterward, you'll select your language and either create or log into an account. I used the one I created back when I got my Oculus Rift TK1 in July of 2013. After logging in, you'll be prompted to download additional applications. Oculus 360 Photos, Oculus Video, Cirque du Soleil's Arcana, Strangers with Patrick Watson, and VR Introduction. You can use this time to install the straps on your headset. The thicker strap is the one that wraps around the back and should be installed first. Make sure that when you loop it through the headset that the Velcro straps are on the outside. This also makes it easier to adjust when a person is wearing it. Once that is done, insert the hook from the top head strap onto the front bar of the Gear VR near the focus adjustment wheel. I found this part a little tricky and ended up skipping it in the video. After the hook snaps into place, slide the top head strap through the loop on the back strap and you're all set. Once everything is done installing, you'll be able to use the headset, though I recommend selecting the Browse Oculus Store option first. From here, you'll create a four digit pin to more quickly access your Oculus account. You enter your password to confirm, in which I had to hit the done button before hitting continue for it to work, otherwise I had to re-enter everything. On the next screen you'll enter your payment information so you can purchase content in the Oculus Store. You'll need to spell out the name of the state your billing address is located in. Abbreviations won't work here. The store itself is broken up into several categories, including top selling, new releases, games, experiences, apps, and a concept section, which is where you'll find the more experimental apps and games that you would see at websites like Oculus Share. It can also be treated as a sort of early access area where developers can charge for stuff still in development. You can scroll through the top items of each category or select See All for a full list. You can also view your library that holds everything you already own, which you can get to by selecting the menu icon at the top left. When you back out to your phone's home screen, you'll see an Oculus icon that will quickly take you back to the Oculus Store whenever you want. At this point, you should be done with everything and can attach your phone to the headset. First, you remove the protective cover, which comes off and goes on pretty easily, and should always be attached when you're not using your phone with it. 
Then, if you have a larger phone like the Note 5 or S6 Edge Plus, you'll gently push in the left device holder and slide it to the left until the green marker is in the A position. If you are using the S6 or the S6 Edge, you'll want it in the B position. Go ahead and plug your phone into the connector, but make sure it's unlocked first or you'll hear this message. Remove mobile device and unlock it. Then reinsert it to use the VR. And make sure you have the sound on your phone on so you know when it's properly connected. Check that the device holder on the other side is slid to the right in the unlocked position, and then snap your phone in, ensuring that's not tilted. After you've taken any of the leftover protective plastic off the device and lenses, you're ready to put on the headset. Don't forget that you can adjust the straps as needed to make it as comfortable as possible. And that's it! Your phone will automatically take care of the rest and take you through a tutorial to familiarize yourself with the Gear VR. Thanks for watching! I've been making virtual reality videos since July 2013 and it's nice to finally be able to do it with an actual consumer product. I plan on making a whole lot more videos covering Gear VR and have some friends coming over Sunday to play Keep Talking Nobody Explodes, which I'll be filming part of. So be sure to click the subscribe button if you're interested in seeing more.